Statistics tell us that 90% of you have something in common. You're right-handed. And the other 10% of us, including me, are left-handed. And we left-handed people have lived throughout history always doing things on the wrong side. We have even lived in fear of doing left-handed things publicly because of the stigma. The idea survives in the modern word sinister from the Latin word sinistra, meaning left, awkward, and unlucky. Compare this to the modern word dexterous from the Latin word dexter, meaning right, fitting, and proper. Although these ideas and words persist, right-handed people have finally let us left-handers do whatever we want in our own left way. So how does a left-handed engineer do anything different than a right-handed one? Well, in my experience, we have problems with tools. For me, it was scissors. It took a long time to understand how to use them, and when I finally could use them properly, I couldn't understand why I had to use my right hand. My mind just came up with the idea that left-handers cut with their right hand, and right-handers cut with their left hand. But this idea was quickly dashed when I tried to apply it to my right-handed siblings. Luckily, my parents let me down gently and just explained that scissors were right-handed, and that's how it had to be. Now, when I finally got my motor skills down, they allowed me in the classrooms where I faced right-handed notebooks and left-handed left hands smudged with pencil. The worst experiences were sitting at those right-handed desks, you know the kind that wrap around from your side? Well, for you right-handed people, you get an armrest. Well, for us left-handed people, it's like an Olympic sport trying to balance a notebook, a textbook, and a calculator, all while craning all over it, just trying to write something down. When I made it into high school and college, I learned more about how to do the right way of things. I learned about the right angle, and I learned about the ultimate scientific game symbol, the right-hand rule of electromagnetics. Luckily for us left-handers, we can determine the direction of propagation while still answering the question on our physics test. <laughs> I don't know what you right-handed people do in this situation. Switch hands or something? Now that I'm a senior in college, not very many people notice that I'm left-handed. And when they do, it's the strangest thing. They'll be like, oh, you're left-handed. And I'll be like, I'm left-handed? And then I'll remember the pencil in my left hand just writing along. I tell you these stories not searching for sympathy. But instead, I want to provide you with the perspective that allows me to see things differently. Let me show you how I see this soda can. When I pick it up with my right hand to take a drink, you can see the brand clearly. Perfect product placement. But when I put it in my left hand, all I see are the calories of a soda I shouldn't be drinking. <laughs> the point is, the label fails to do what it was intended to do just because I picked it up with my left hand. It's as if my use of the can is an outlier. Now in engineering, we face a lot of problems every single day, and they're usually not as frivolous as designing a soda can label. And the outliers are even more complex than just me as a left-hander covering up the brand logo. Now, the reason I notice this is because I'm a left, I look for things that affect me as a left-hander. I did this when I was young to prepare myself to learn things differently than right-handers. And now I apply it mostly for fun. But it's exactly how I look at problems. Now, my perspective is a little bit different. But it allows me to see things that some people can't. Right-handed people see it maybe a little bit differently, but I see it as a can blocking the label. Now, this left-handed thing has affected me since I was young, and I've always been looking for it. But now I'm seeing how it alters my view of engineering. Your perspective may be just a little bit different than mine, but it's already altering your view and changing the way you grasp things. Literally and metaphorically. I know you can find your perspective, and I hope when you do, we can discuss it over a more ambidextrous beverage. Thank you.